Hello, and welcome to our special presentation by renowned neurosurgeon and nutritionist, Dr. Russell Blaylock. When both of Dr. Blaylock's parents died of Parkinson's disease, this highly respected physician dedicated his career to discovering the hidden causes of memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative disorders. In half a minute, you'll hear directly from Dr. Blaylock on the preventable causes of these disorders, information that can literally save your life. Dr. Blaylock has spent thousands of hours studying medical research on these disorders, and he's developed simple strategies and natural therapies to prevent, treat, and in some cases, reverse them. The good news is that memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's do not have to happen to you as you grow older. In his presentation today, Dr. Blaylock will show you the simple things you can do right now to protect your brain, your memory, and your life. Even if you or a loved one have been diagnosed with one of these dreaded diseases, Dr. Blaylock will show you how to repair the brain damage. During Dr. Blaylock's distinguished 24-year career as a neurosurgeon, now having retired, is dedicating his studies to neuroscience and nutrition and how to use this knowledge to prevent and treat neurodegenerative disorders. He is editor of Newsmax's widely read Blaylock Wellness Report. He serves on the editorial staff of the prestigious Surgical Neurology International, Journal of the American Physicians and Surgeons, the journal Fluoride, and other journals. And he's visiting professor in the Department of Biology at Belhaven University. And now, let's go to Dr. Blaylock for his special presentation, How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's. Dr. Blaylock. Hello, I'm Dr. Russell Blaylock. I'm a board-certified neurosurgeon and have been practicing medicine for over 24 years. I've seen the ravages of memory loss, Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's on a daily basis throughout my medical career. Let me stress that everyone over age 40 needs to be concerned about these disorders because they typically take decades to develop and rarely show symptoms in their early stages. Most people have brain damage and don't know it until it's too late. There are specific reasons for this that has to do with dietary deficiencies, harmful ingredients in common foods, and toxins in the environment, and everyday household products. The good news is that the brain damage can, in many cases, be repaired, and further damage may be prevented. Showing you how to protect your brain and avoid or reverse these disorders is the purpose of my presentation today. But first, you're probably wondering how I came an authority on this important health topic. I was motivated to find the causes and cures for these neurodegenerative diseases because both of my parents were affected with and ultimately died as a result of Parkinson's disease. My father was struck first and over a period of years I watched helplessly as his condition went from bad to worse. I was very close to my dad and to see him go from a robust energetic man of great intelligence and wit to a weak, emaciated shadow of his former self was devastating. As a doctor and his son, I tried to help him, but everything I tried was a standard of care, conventional medical treatment that did not work. In desperation, I even subscribed to a neuropharmacology journal to have access to the very latest drugs for Parkinson's, but sadly, to no avail. It was emotionally wrenching to watch my dad steadily decline and then die. In spite of my medical specialty and access to the most advanced conventional treatment. And then tragically, within a few years, my mother began to show signs of Parkinson's. And I relived the nightmare all over again. By then, having seen how conventional medicine had failed my dad, I had discovered some promising natural therapies. But mom was so depressed over the death of dad that she soon gave up and died too. The trauma of losing both my parents to Parkinson's had a profound effect on me. I found it entirely unacceptable that the most advanced conventional medical treatments could not help them. That's when I vowed to dedicate my career to finding the root causes of all of the degenerative diseases and to find safe and effective natural solutions for them so that other families would not suffer as mine did. And because of my specialty, I was particularly interested in stopping the ravaging effects of memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, Lou Gehrig, ALS, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative disorders. 
Today I will show you simple lifestyle changes and easy to adopt natural therapies that may prevent, treat, and reverse many of these disorders. The good news is that you can remain mentally sharp, retain your memory, and avoid Parkinson's and Alzheimer's dementia, and even, in some cases, repair brain damage caused by them. Today I'll show you how. But before we get started, I want to assure you that even though my presentation today is limited by time, you can get everything you need to know in my Brain Protection Kit, How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease. And this kit is yours free and a special offer today. I'll share some of the most important information in it just ahead. But first, I want you to know why conventional medicine has failed us. Here's a fact that I know firsthand. Conventional medicine is not, for the most part, directed toward underlying causes of diseases, nor are they about cures. You may find that shocking and even cold-hearted, but there are two reasons for this. First, our medical system is based mostly on drug therapy. Pharmaceutical companies have been the controlling influence in our medical education system from the beginning of the 20th century. In American medical schools, doctors are taught to diagnose diseases and then decide which drugs to prescribe to treat the symptoms of those diseases. Let me be clear on this. The emphasis on drug therapy is to treat the symptoms of diseases not on prevention or cures. And the second reason for the failure of conventional medicine is closely related to the first. And that's because there is little money to be made in cures while there's lots of money in lifetime drug treatments. Think about it. If doctors taught their patients how to avoid diseases and stay healthy, a $100 billion a year medical industry would be drastically reduced down to treating rare disorders and accidents. Most people never consider that medicine is a profit-driven business, and the greatest profits lie in ongoing treatments, which are primarily drugs administered for months, for years, and best of all, for a profit perspective, for life. But common sense tells you that heart disease is not a result of a lack of cholesterol-lowering statin drugs. High blood pressure is not a result of a lack of hypertensive drugs and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's are not a result of a lack of their common drug treatments, L-DOPA and cholinesterase inhibitors. Wouldn't it be smarter to find the cause of these diseases and then avoid them? And wouldn't it be better to stop, reverse, and repair the damage rather than try to manage it with drugs? I passionately believe so. And that's why I write the Blaylock Wellness Report every month, which is filled with a kind of unreported medical research and practical advice that can actually prevent, treat, and reverse the major diseases, including arthritis, asthma and allergies, Alzheimer's dementia, cancer, diabetes, depression, gastrointestinal disorders, and also heart disease and strokes, infections, obesity, memory loss, Parkinson's, and many more ailments. The Blaylock Wellness Report focuses on prevention and cures. And I'm proud to say it's been welcomed into tens of thousands of American and Canadian homes. Clearly, people have been looking for solutions, not more drugs. And the best part about the success of the Blaylock Wellness Report is that it allowed me to focus on medical research that goes unreported by the media and ignored by doctors. And it's truly making a difference. That's why I want to make my brain protection kit how to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease, available to you today free of charge just for trying a no-risk subscription to the Blaylock Wellness Report for a few pennies a day. This kit consists of three reports of great importance for everyone over age 40, and especially over age 50. These are Parkinson's Disease, You Can Fight Back, Save Your Brain, Protect Yourself from the Ravages of Alzheimer's, and maintaining your memory. Let's first look at the causes and solutions for neurodegenerative disorders, and then I'll tell you how to get your free kit with a no-risk subscription to the Blaylock Wellness Report for a few cents a day. The first thing to know is that memory loss, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's dementia are primarily caused by two things, inflammation and excitotoxicity. 
These two are closely related because both brain inflammation and excitotoxicity generate intense free radical activity. But if you can get these culprits under control, you'll drastically reduce your risk of memory loss, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. The medical establishment says it doesn't know what causes these disorders. They also say there are no cures for them. But that's only because it ignores the research in favor of drug treatments. As you'll see in a moment, there are specific triggers for inflammation and free radical generation. And once you know what they are, you can easily avoid or neutralize them. Let me show you what's really going on inside your brain. Each brain cell is a little factory that performs dozens of vital functions, including generating energy, making enzymes and proteins, storing information, and when operating properly together, performing numerous mental tasks. Ideally, we want our brain cells to do everything God intended it to do, so we can retain our memory, stay mentally sharp, and be capable of dealing with whatever life throws at us. The problem is that free radicals damage our cellular factories so that over time they don't work as well and eventually fail and die. No doubt you've heard about free radicals, but may be unclear on what they are. Simply put, free radicals are highly reactive submicroscopic particles that bounce around inside of your cells like red-hot BBs, burning everything they touch. In the beginning, the damage they do is minute. But over time, if the free radical activity goes unchecked, the cell's function becomes impaired. It's a lot like water dripping on a stone, slowly and continually chipping away at it. Fortunately, your body has antioxidant defenses that, at least when you're young, neutralize the free radicals. But your antioxidant defenses decline with age, and also if you're exposed to any of the triggers that cause inflammation or create more free radicals. Your antioxidant defenses can become overwhelmed. Many toxins in the environment deplete and damage the antioxidant system. Now hold that thought, because neurodegenerative diseases begin to appear when the free radical damage reaches a certain level. And depending on your exposure to the triggers, this can occur at age 50, 60, 70, or 80. What's alarming is that we're seeing an escalation of these neurodegenerative disorders caused by inflammation and free radical damage. So what used to be common in the 70s and 80s is now showing up in the 50s and 60s, and sometimes as early as the 30s and 40s. In fact, the average age of onset of Parkinson's has dropped to 57. And for every full-blown case of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's dementia, there are dozens of lesser cases, beginning with minor memory loss, that are incorrectly dismissed as normal aging. That's why it's so important that you get my brain protection kit, how to prevent memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's disease, and put a stop to inflammation and free radical damage now. The triggers for brain inflammation and free radical generation is pesticides and herbicides, harmful ingredients in foods and beverages, toxic metals in the air, water, and consumer products, various sugars and sugar substitutes, omega-6 fats, vaccines, including flu shots, excitotoxins, which I'll explain just ahead. Additional problems are nutritional deficiencies, hormone imbalances, a lack of exercise, and, surprisingly, too much aerobic exercise. Let's look at some of these triggers and see how to avoid or neutralize them. And please put this preventive advice to use right away. Parkinson's disease is caused by chronic brain inflammation, specifically by an intense activation of the brain's immune cell, the microglia. When overactivated, the microglia actually destroys part of the midsection of the brain called the brain stem. And the result is what we know as Parkinson's. What causes an overactivation of the microglia? Mostly infections, trauma, obesity, ingestion of certain harmful ingredients and in processed foods, and exposure to toxic metals, pesticides, and herbicides. Unfortunately, it is difficult to avoid exposure to pesticides. You can avoid spraying your home, but it's harder to avoid this at work, in public buildings, golf courses, and public parks, or the pesticide residue on the produce you consume. Some people are more sensitive to these toxins than others, but repeated exposures, even to very small subtoxic doses, can create a toxic synergism it activates the microglia and sets the brain cell destruction in motion.
For example, farmers who routinely spray their crops have a much higher incidence of Parkinson's disease than do the general population. But since some exposure to pesticides is almost impossible to avoid, what can you do about it? First, be sure to buy certified organic produce. You should thoroughly wash both regular produce and even organically grown produce. Also, just ahead, I'll tell you about some natural supplements you can use to clean your body of these toxins, as well as antioxidants to neutralize the free radicals. A very important one is glutathione. It is a known fact that Parkinson's and Alzheimer's patients have very low brain levels of the antioxidant glutathione. Glutathione is a miracle molecule that plays a major role in protecting your brain cells. Its highest concentration is in the mitochondria of the neuron, which is where 95% of free radicals are produced. If you're low on glutathione, you won't get the brain cell protection you need, nor the moderating effect glutathione has on brain immune function. The result is inflammation and excitotoxicity, the two brain-destroying culprits you must control to avoid the neurodegenerative diseases. What causes low glutathione? Infections, brain injury, strokes, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, many pharmaceutical drugs, harmful processed foods, environmental toxins such as mercury, lead, and aluminum, and also high levels of glutamate, which deplete your body's store of glutathione. An easy start here is to avoid the flavor enhancer monosodium glutamate, or MSG, which is used in some restaurants and many processed foods. Your safest route is to eat fresh, natural foods rather than processed packaged foods. But always read food labels and avoid MSG. Also be aware that after MSG got a bad rap, it causes migraine headaches for one, Food manufacturers deceptively gave MSG several new names and kept using it. In your brain protection kit, How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease, I will give you all of the new names for MSG that are used on food labels today so that you have a fighting chance. But I can tell you from experience as a neurosurgeon that most people have low brain levels of glutathione, especially as they age. The good news is that you can increase these levels. If you have access to a doctor who practices holistic or integrative medicine, you can get an IV drip of immune-supporting nutrients that include glutathione. Another way to get your glutathione level up is to simply take a specific supplement that promotes your own body's production of this important antioxidant. In your brain protection kit, I'll give you the name and dose of this supplement. You can readily find it at vitamin stores and online, and I'll also give you a good source for it. Let me make this clear. My loyalty is to the readers of my Blaylock Wellness Report, and my interest lies solely in your good health, not in padding the bottom line of the pharmaceutical industry. What else can you do to protect your brain? Stop the excitotoxins. Earlier I mentioned excitotoxins as one of the triggers. These are substances that excite the microglia and special types of brain cells and cause a storm of inflammation and free radical production. They're called excitotoxins because in excess, they can literally excite brain cells to death. Brain cell excitotoxins are often the ingredients used in processed foods to enhance their flavors. MSG is one, of course, and another is the artificial sweetener aspartame, which is called safe for diabetics. But in fact, it is not safe for anyone. Cytotoxins can also be produced by your own body. For instance, elevated levels of homocysteine, a condition typically caused by a poor diet, also implicated in heart disease, is metabolized into several types of excitotoxins that can do brain damage. Mercury stimulates the release of excitotoxins from the brain. The same is true of lead, cadmium, and aluminum. They cause this effect even in very low concentrations. If you're wondering how these toxic metals get into your body, they're in certain fish, such as tuna, shark, and swordfish. They're in the water you drink, in the air you breathe, and also in household products, such as antiperspirants and aluminum cookware. If you use fluoridated water or toothpaste, even in small amounts, it will increase your aluminum absorption and trigger dramatic destruction of the same brain cells we see destroyed in Alzheimer's patients. Mercury is also highly toxic to your brain and immune system, and it's the main ingredient in amalgam dental fillings. 
If you still have this type, see a qualified dentist for the proper removal and replacement of them. And avoid excess numbers and special types of vaccines, especially flu shots which contain mercury. Vaccines are also major sources of brain-toxic aluminum. Perhaps you've been getting a flu shot regularly for years, and you're now at much greater risk for Alzheimer's dementia and Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. So what can you do? In your brain protection kit, how to protect memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's disease, I'll give you a detailed program to reverse this problem. But let me tell you a few things right now. First, you may want to consider getting no more vaccines. The drug industry has done a great job convincing the public, especially seniors, that they need flu shots. Doctors go along with this propaganda because this is what they learn in medical schools, which are supported by drug companies. But this idea that you need flu shots is purely marketing hype. Annual flu shots provide hundreds of millions of dollars in profits every year which is why you see them so aggressively promoted. Find a doctor practicing holistic or integrative medicine who can administer heavy metal detoxification. I also have a home remedy for you. When you start your no-risk subscription to the Blaylock Wellness Report for just 15 cents a day, you'll receive your free copy of How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease. And in it, I'll show you how to get mercury and other metals out of your brain using five readily available supplements. One is a specific blend of magnesium. This special blend maximizes absorption and prevents diarrhea common with magnesium oxide form. This special blend of magnesium will also boost your production of glutathione, which is, as you already learned, protects your brain cells against free radical damage. I'll give you details on all the chelating supplements to help cleanse your brain of mercury, lead, and aluminum in your brain protection kit. And let me say, if you've been getting flu shots for years, I urge you to get started on this regimen as soon as possible, as these toxic metals put you at a much higher risk for memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's. Here's something that will probably surprise you. Omega-6 oils, beyond the smallest amounts, will cause brain inflammation. And that inflammation will excite the microglia to destroying your brain cells. What's more, the inflammation will generate more free radical activity that can overwhelm your antioxidant defenses and cause a steady deterioration of brain cell function. Omega-6 oils lie in your supermarket shelves and are widely used in cooking and baking and salad dressing. Here are the ones to avoid. Soybean oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, safflower oil, corn oil, peanut oil. When you receive your brain protection kit, how to prevent memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's disease, I'll show you the two types of oils you can safely use for cooking, baking, salad dressing, and as a condiment. And these are delicious tasting oils too. If you still want to use omega-6 oils, do so sparingly and at the same time significantly increase your intake of omega-3 oil, which can be found in some fish. Just note, fish can be contaminated with mercury and industrial chemicals. The safest way to get your omega-3s is to use the modern purified omega-3 oils, which have been vastly improved in recent years to get any fish flavor out. So today, they typically have a mild lemon-lime flavor and are very easy to take. Just one tablespoonful of high-quality omega-3 oil a day, especially one high in DHA, will give you a big boost in brain protection by neutralizing the excitotoxins and reducing inflammation. See your kit for details. Omega-3 oil is also a good prevention against arthritis and heart disease, also caused by inflammation, as well as a good general health tonic. But specifically regarding Alzheimer's, one study found that ingesting omega-3s once or more a week reduced the risk of Alzheimer's by 60%. And my research shows that if you do it daily, your risk goes down even more. Do you like what you're learning today? Good. Because these are the kinds of valuable things I tell my readers in the Blaylock Wellness Report each month. And I want you to know when you try a no-risk subscription to the Blaylock Wellness Report for just 15 cents a day, not only will you receive your free kit, How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease, but you'll get my advice on my monthly newsletter for the next year. That's not all. 
You'll have full access to all 95 of my previous issues, each one on an important health topic. Let me show you just a handful of titles so you can see the wealth of valuable preventive and healing information you'll get. The Diabetes Solution. Eliminate hypertension forever. Key vitamins that save your heart and prevent cancer. The Great Cancer Lie. It is preventable and beatable. Seven Strategies to Stop Heart Disease. Arthritis. Confronting Chronic Joint Pain. Plus these valuable titles. Overcome Depression and Its Deadly Effects. Food Additives. What You Eat Can Kill You. The Secret Science of Losing Fat. How to Cut Your Risk of a Deadly Stroke. Protecting Your Eyes. What Drug Companies Don't Want You to Know About Heart Disease and Cholesterol. Statin drugs are unnecessary and harmful. Remember, there are 95 titles in all, covering virtually every health problem and in many on achieving your best health through good nutrition and key vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, which is my specialty after neurosurgery. Just ahead, you'll see a big orange button at the bottom of your screen. I'll tell you when it's up and active. Simply by clicking on this button, you can take advantage of my special offer to receive the Blaylock Wellness Report, your free brain protection kit, plus full and free access to my archive of 95 past issues for just 15 cents a day. You'll see the big orange button in just a couple of minutes. But first, I want to give you a few more tips on how to prevent memory loss, Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's. An excellent way to reduce inflammation, avoid excitotoxins and neutralize free radicals, not to mention improve your overall health, is to cut way back on sugars and fats and high glycemic carbohydrates, such as white bread, white rice, white potatoes, pasta, cakes, cookies, and chips. Sadly, you probably remember that President Ronald Reagan was afflicted by Alzheimer's, and you probably also remember he was addicted to jelly beans. I suspect his high daily intake of sugar may have significantly contributed to his Alzheimer's. One study showed that a high calorie diet boosted by sugars caused a 50% increase in the risk of Alzheimer's dementia. And if combined with a high fat diet, the risk went up 230%. And remember, you can have high fats in your blood without being significantly overweight. Such a condition is caused by getting too many of your calories from sugar and high glycemic carbohydrates. But don't switch out the sugar for the chemical sweetener aspartame, which is in diet sodas and many foods labeled safe for diabetics. Aspartame is a potent excitotoxin that can literally excite brain cells to death. Instead, use natural sugar substitutes, such as stevia, which are safe and won't cause inflammation or generate free radicals. Already you've learned that free radicals produced by inflammation and excitotoxicity are the main culprit that cause memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's. And you've learned the primary triggers for them too. But in your brain protection kit, I'm also going to tell you about several vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that will reduce inflammation, boost glutathione, detox your brain of heavy metals, and protect you from excitotoxins and free radicals. Just a few of these are N-acetyl cysteine, blueberry extract, melatonin, curcumin and quercetin, vitamin D, vitamin B12. In How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease, I'll give you the specific types, dosages, and best sources for these important brain-protecting nutrients. For instance, most people don't get enough vitamin B12, and then if they do, it's the wrong kind. The same is true of vitamin D. In your brain protection kit, I'll tell you which kind to use and also the correct dosages. Most people are getting only one-tenth the vitamin D they need on a daily basis. And getting your vitamin D levels up is critically important, not just for brain health, but also to prevent cancer. And by the way, you've heard or read reports in the media that vitamin D can be toxic or even cause cancer. You should know that's propaganda from the pharmaceutical industry. Rest assured, they don't want you to know that an inexpensive vitamin can do far more for your health than their drugs. If everybody got enough vitamin D, took their omega-3 oils, and a few antioxidants, the rates of cancer, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's would plummet. Don't ever overexercise. It can harm your brain. When I first mentioned this earlier, I'm sure it surprised you. 
while a complete lack of exercise can cause numerous health problems, too much aerobic exercise is actually harmful to your brain. The reason is that aerobic exercise dramatically increases free radical generation, and that leads to brain cell deterioration and the neurodegenerative disorders. Numerous studies have shown that moderate exercise, such as brisk 30 to 40 minute walk every other day, is protective against Alzheimer's dementia and other neurodegenerative diseases. What's also protective is to exercise your brain by reading, writing, memorizing facts, and participating in mental skill games such as bridge, chess, and crossword puzzles. Likewise, periods of mental relaxation are also important. Well, I'm just about out of time. There's so much more I want to tell you. I feel I've barely scratched the surface. But we've made a good start. Please use what you've learned today. And most important, get your copy of How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease free with your Blaylock Wellness Report subscription and get started on reversing inflammation and free radical damage now. You can easily follow my guidelines, make adjustments to your diet, add some vitamins and antioxidants, detox your brain, and all of this will give you significant protection against memory loss, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's. And you'll love the side benefits, too. You'll gain energy, lose weight, become mentally sharper, sleep better, and feel younger. You'll also have peace of mind knowing that you're stopping and reversing the brain damage that's been going on, probably for too long, without your ever knowing about it. Okay, the big orange button is up at the bottom of your screen, and it's activated now. So let me invite you to join me and tens of thousands of health-minded people like you each month who are right now getting real solutions to health problems, not more drugs to treat symptoms. Just click on the big orange button at the bottom of your screen, and you can try a no-risk subscription to the Blaylock Wellness Report for just 15 cents a day. And remember, with your subscription, you'll get full access to my archive of 95 past issues on every important health issue. I guarantee you, you'll find valuable healing advice on any health problem you now have, or on any problem you wish to prevent. Plus, my publisher will mail your free copy of How to Prevent Memory Loss, Alzheimer's Dementia, and Parkinson's Disease directly to your door. Do it now because the three brain-saving reports in my kit could be the most important reading of your life, and reading the Blaylock Wellness Report each month will keep you healthy and full of vim and vigor. Click on the big orange button now, and thanks for listening. It's been my pleasure to bring this valuable information to you today.